All right, what's up, everyone? Welcome to my Banter Blitz. Good to see you all in the chat of Chess24 and Twitch. Not monitoring YouTube, but hello to everyone. I'm a little bit tired uh, today. I uh, am currently teaching beautiful chess camp for the Charlotte Chess Center. It is called the Future Master Camp, and uh, it is really an honor to teach for that beautiful club. And uh, shout out to any of my students if they are tuning in right now after uh, their daily tournament. Make sure to let me know in the chat if you are in the master camp and uh, just let me know was it group one, two, or three? I'm going to give you a big shout out and uh, really good to see you guys. Kilimanjaro, what's up? That's amazing, Kilimanjaro. I have some very good news for you. Uh, stay tuned. I have some very, very good news today, Kilimanjaro. If in the next 15 minutes I didn't tell you the good news yet, well, just give me a friendly reminder. Whoa, 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 people, man, people are already begging in the chat for a game. This is crazy. Judge World, I'm calling you out. You got to chill, buddy. You got to chill because you're not going to get a game. You're not... You're not even get, you're not getting the first game, and you're not even gonna get a game if you keep pushing it like this. No, seriously, really good to see you guys. I have my second coffee of the day ready, and let's play some premium members. Let's do it. Let's say let's see who's uh, who's uh, the first. Uh, what's up, Ilya Chess? Good to see you. Uh, let's give a game to Mr. Iron Man. Ah, oh, you got uh, Kilimanjaro. You got part of the uh, part of the the guess is correct. Uh, you could argue that a hundred percent of the guess is correct, but uh, I'm gonna talk about it very soon. Just gonna try to beat Mister uh, Iron Man to start. So let's go here. Knight f6. We have a classical uh, hyper accelerated dragon. Knight f6. Bishop c4. Oh, Bishop b5. This is kind of a surprising move uh wait a sec can i go queen a5 here isn't it worse with the bishop on b5 i believe in some variation i could take all right he takes here i take here i'm threatening 94 castles uh let's go just castle here or is he gonna play f4 um okay let's just castle knight b3 queen c7 uh, I'm going to play d6 to prevent e5, and then I have some knight g4 possibilities. And uh, yeah, just uh, d6 over here, and I have a very comfortable game. I'm going to try to uh, do a classic maneuver of uh, getting my knight to c4, but maybe a5 first. Uh, queen here, is he threatening anything? Can I go a4? Probably. Uh, knight d4, bishop a6, and c5 is possible. Um, I'm going to go bishop a6 first just to see where he's going. And um, if he plays rook c1, I might have some rook b8, even a3. Uh, I'm kind of half bluffing here with a3. He could take the pawn, but I can probably take it back. But with the speed that I, I played a3, he might consider not taking the pawn. So this is uh, some psychology here. Yeah, respecting my uh, inflated elo here, which is great. Knight d7, now he might have some trouble here. Yeah, Ilya, I'm going to stream with uh, Maroon very soon. I've been busy lately. So, yeah. Congrats, Colvin. Uh, you uh, you got 2,600. This is really nice. I'm glad to see that my fans are uh, are improving. Uh, I think this is a mistake. Now I can play C5 and I get this rook over here. Unless it was on purpose and he's trying to, uh, to mate me. No, okay. He goes here. Take. Now I'm just going to simplify this whole position. And um, it should be a pretty easy conversion if um, I'm not too rusty. Hello, Difference 17. Good to see you all in the chat. Uh, I don't know why it feels like forever that I haven't uh, streamed, but it's only been 48 hours. This means uh, miss you guys. Miss you guys. It's been a while. Wow, you dirty flagged Yan. This is crazy, Colvin. Usually I dirty flag you in completely lost positions, but uh, I guess you are learning. I guess you're learning. So let's go here and uh, take control of the D file. And I'm going to set up a nice rook on D1. 
Uh, I, I might even have some mating nets here. I'm going to leave a pawn on f6 just to secure the knight on e5. And I'm probably going to bring another rook to... Uh, okay, let's play check. He's really walking into some, uh, some funny mating nets here. Uh, let's make sure that I do have it. Like e6, check, and rook d5 is on top. Maybe king f7 first. I should not be worried here. If he pushes, I probably have a very, very cute mate. Um, yeah, this is probably mate. I go here, king f7. And I don't think he can stop this and that. Yeah, just checkmate here, Iron Man. Thank you for playing. Thank you for playing. I, I don't want to brag, guys. Can someone look at the leaderboard? Because when I finished my last stream, I was second overall on the whole Blitz leaderboard. Uh, Mr. David Howell was first. I was second. And most importantly, Carlson was third. Don't want to flex, but l look at the leaderboard, guys, and let me know if I'm still second there. I might lose it. That that's why I'm uh, telling you guys to, to look. Because as soon as I, lo I lose a, a game, it's over. Uh, Meritopen, you're not going to get a game by begging, buddy. Stop begging. All right. Let's go here. Okay. Uh, let's play d6. Okay. So we have played this about a million times, but it's fine. Hopefully he doesn't learn from his mistake. Oh my God, Colvin. I am second in the whole leaderboard. This is crazy considering my passer level considering my passer level it is quite an accomplishment uh he goes here okay just a6 b5 i guess okay let's go b5 and uh brandozen i think improved I remember him being like 16 or 1700 not too sure surgeon stubby good to see you <laughs> Stop begging, start flagging. Yeah, exactly, Violin. Exactly. Uh, so B4. If he goes C4, I might go Knight D4. Bishop D2. I could take and play Rook B2. I could play Queen B6. Anything goes here. Oh, he's going to play Knight, knight E3, Knight C4, though. I have to uh, kind of uh, prevent that. I could play Knight E5. Um, or knight b6. I think knight b6 is a good move. Knight e3, e5, and bishop e6. Mahargo, good to see you. How many years have you been playing chess? Oh my god. If I answer this question, it's uh, kind of embarrassing. It's just gonna make me look old. I don't, I don't know if I want to answer this question, right? But too many years. Too many years. Oh, Prom Knight saying, like, after I flagged uh, a lot of uh, my followers on Instagram, I wanted to write a posting about that, like breaking news at Chess24. FM Lafonghoa feels bad about flagging people. I, I do feel bad about flagging people. Don't get me wrong. I do feel bad. I think, uh, well, no, 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 I don't feel bad. I feel bad flagging my followers. This is different. If you guys are following me on Instagram, I feel bad flagging you. Will I keep doing it? Of course. But I still feel bad. Okay, so I could take. This looks very promising for me. Uh, yeah, I'm going to do it. Takes here. He's going to take back. Now I'm going to take this guy. And queen h4 is coming. If he takes, I take with the e pawn and I go uh, bishop e5. And if he doesn't do that, uh, this might smell trouble. Maybe f5, f4. Mott says, do you choose randomly? Uh, no, Matt, I don't choose randomly. I choose based on a very complex algorithm that I created for my own brain. And that has been secret for a year now. I've been doing banters for a year. So it's been a very dark secret of mine. Uh, so no, I don't choose randomly. Um, it's not complicated. If you guys are not on my blacklist, then you 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 have a decent chance of playing. If you guys are on my blacklist, you will not get a game. Uh, and then what is the next question? Oh yeah, how to get on my blacklist? Uh, just be annoying, and this is perfect. 
it gives me an excuse. Uh, so yeah, that that's how I choose people. Chen J, what's up? Good to see you. I'm gonna take like this. Rook e4. It's a little bit annoying, but I think I'm gonna go queen here check because I want to play f5 and bishop e5. Oh, I didn't see that move. See, patser here, a real patser. Okay, let's go here. I'm gonna bait him to play f4, so I have f5 and I win the rook. Um, yes, now f5 looks precise. He has to move the rook. Uh, I could play bishop e5. Yeah, let's play bishop e5 and torture him. He's gonna play rook g2. And then I'm gonna play bishop f4, and he's gonna have the worst looking position in the whole chess history. I'm gonna play rook e8 and like back bank made him or something. Oh my god, Brendozen. Oh my god. I, I could have taken that pawn, but that makes his bishop active. So why would I even do that? Let's take here. Oh, he has bishop d1. No, okay. I got queen here at the very least. Wait, is my queen trapped? <laughs> if I go here, he takes. Oh my god, I'm so bad. So I'm going to have to rely on flagging here. All right, I'm going to have to rely on flagging. This is terrible, guys. Uh, okay, he didn't do it. But I was lost. I just underestimated him. Brandozan, GG. GG. Play so bad. The power is mine, 54. What's up? Thanks for tuning in. Always appreciate it. Um, all right, who's next? I want someone around that rating. Because for so far, my play has indicated that if I take a higher rated player, I'm going to lose right away. Uh, Surgeon Stubby, I see your challenge. If you change it to three minutes, I might consider taking it. Uh, we, I'm trying to get some new players here. Uh, okay, I like this guy. I've only played him twice from the UK. So let's go. Let's play d4. I don't want to risk too much. I don't want to risk too much. Yes, I know you enjoy it, Power is Mine. I know you do enjoy it. But, you know, if I don't want to get fired from chess 24, I still have to pretend that I can play chess, you know? If I only flag people, my uh, my boss, my boss is watching, will say, Lufang, your level of chess is not good enough for being a streamer. But I'm 3,200. That's not enough. You are too bad at chess. Okay, let's go here. And I'm going to try. But this is annoying. I, I don't like his setup here. Maybe a4, a5, try to hold the pawn. I wish he can play d5, so I have e, e3 or something. Uh, okay, so if he's going to waste some time to take that pawn, could I play here? Or no, this is just greedy. This is just greedy. Um, he's going to play c4 as well. Oh, my God. Okay, I don't like my game. I don't like my game. Should I bluff? I think I'm going to bluff him here. Uh, what I mean by bluffing, uh, he's going to take here. I'm going to play bishop c4 and pretend that he can't take here. Okay, good. The bluff worked. He, maybe he could have taken here. But now I'm almost fine. I'm going to play b3 and bishop b2. And I'm almost fine here. If he plays d5, I think he can take it. He goes here. I want to play e4. But I think... Bishop d5 may, makes some sense too. Okay, let's play bishop d5. I want to prevent d5. Sergeant, I'm going to take note of that. Uh, let's go here. Nasty Benko. Nasty Benko. Oh, I've done way worse power as mine. I've lost to 1400s. So <laughs> I've lost to my student. If you think losing to a 2200 is bad, Oh, you can't imagine the pain. Lafong, can people escape your blacklist? Yeah, there are uh, there are a few ways. Um, if you follow an Insta and you like all my posts, usually you uh, you go from blacklist to top liker, which gives you a special status of a special friend, you know. Uh, but other than that. To get off the blacklist is really hard. Really hard.
how old am I? This is the first time I'm joining your banter. Oh my God. Can we stop talking about my age? I'm very, very old, guys. I can't answer this question. It is almost embarrassing. I'm really old. You would never guess my age. Uh, let's play E4. I got to play faster and at least flag him. Okay, I'm going to take. Uh, queen here, I'm going to play rook here. And then I'm going to play G3. And hopefully I don't get made it. Rook C2. How do I pressure him enough here? His pressure is really, uh, really strong. Got to figure out a way to move my queen without losing this pawn. Okay, h5, h4. Yeah, I mean, the it is not a secret, but I'm not going to brag about it, you know. Uh, okay, he's, he's playing a rook here, so let's use some prophylaxis here. Oh, man. Uh, okay, let's go here. Rook e5, rook d3. I'm under some pressure here, guys. I don't like to play passive, but at the same time, he's sort of down on time. Uh, sort of down on time here. So he might, he might blunder. I sense some chances of blunder. All right, let's uh, make him play for a draw or something. Yeah, okay. Let's uh, let's just flag him. If he doesn't want to make any smart moves, oh, here I'm getting the rook. I am getting the rook. Yeah, I think he just realized. He's like, oh shoot, I can't take on d5. Uh, that's almost clever, but unfortunately, I have this move. GG, Mr. H C T H. Uh, okay, where is Mr. Surgent? All right, Mr. Surgent, we have only played once, so it will be a pleasure to play against you. Yes, 106 banter blitz. That's a lot for sure. Power is mine. Um, Olfed 73. The reason is that we had, we have a lot of viewers on the Chess24 website, which watches di directly there. And the party, the main party is there. So if you want to join, you're welcome. Uh, this gives a peace, buddy. Yeah. Sergeant not playing his best chess right now, unfortunately. And is about to lose a piece already. Yeah, power is mine. I mean, first crush Carlson, and it's good. I mean, I don't even, I can't even get a game against Carlson. I've challenged him like two or three times during his banters, and uh, he never accepted my challenge. So there's not much I can do. And Sergeant Stubby is saying in the chat, so bad in the private chat. So bad. I agree. Uh, I couldn't agree more. It is pretty bad buddy it is pretty bad i'm gonna play queen b6 preventing him from castling oh i'm not ashamed prom knight i'm not ashamed i just uh don't want to give any chance for people on my blacklist to start roasting me you know oh pitheros you are so cute all right so knight b4 Okay, and that's the end. Surgeon Stubby, thanks for playing. All right, let's go up the ladder a little bit. And uh, let's go up the ladder a little bit. I think we have some 2300 challenging. Ikerov from Spain is challenging. What's up, goat? Bambizi. Thanks for, uh, thanks for coming. Thanks for tuning in. All right, let's go. Oh, nice. We got a first camper from the Charlotte Chess Center, future uh, master camp, Mr. E. Harris, 733. Hello, LaFong. This is Elliot from the camp. Thanks for tuning in, Mr. Elliot. Which uh, group are you in? Thanks for tuning in. Hopefully, you're going to enjoy the show. I'm sorry for uh, not being as professional right now as I am during the camp. But uh, this is uh, this is a banter blitz here, so there is a certain amount of trolling, of dirt, and of flagging. You know. Uh, okay, let's play d5. 
I'm in the future master's camp. Oh, now that's nice. We have a we have a little army here of students from the from the camp in Charlotte. That's great. Thank you so much for tuning in, guys. I guess your tournament just finished, and uh, you want to uh, to be able to watch your uh, your favorite teacher play, right? I hope I'm your favorite teacher. I know that uh, the two other teachers are two GMs, but I'm special. I am special. I have a personality. I don't have a rating, but I have a personality. All right, take here. I'm going to take here. Wow. That's fine. That's fine. No worries. We don't, uh, we don't discriminate rating here. Everything is good. Man, this guy is playing... Uh, this guy is playing pretty good. It's actually uh, slightly annoying. He's going to put all the pressure on this pawn. And he's going to torture me. Yeah, this is not cool. I have to bring my king really quickly to uh, to d7. Just to make sure I'm not getting molested here. Uh, I'm not too happy about my opening, to be honest. Uh, Caruana was in the Montreal Chess Bros team. But I think, uh, unfortunately... In our world in 2020, money talks. And I think the St. Louis Chess Club recruited them. Uh, but hey, I don't want to badmouth the St. Louis Chess Club because I only have good things to say about, about this club. Yes, Zia. Agreed. Agreed. Uh, okay, he goes here. I'm going to go over here. Rook a5, a6. Rook c5, f6. And hopefully everything holds together. Hello from Brazil. Oh man, this guy knows how to get me. Mit Suplik. Oh my God, he knows that I am in completely in love with Brazil. Oh man, this is gonna be hard to turn down. Uh, I'll see what I can do, Mister Mit Suplik. I love Brazil. <laughs> I'm completely in love. Just not just a little bit, but like completely. Okay, let's go here. I don't know how to improve my position. That's the problem. Oh wow, is he is he really trying to play for a win here? I mean, I'm not complaining. Uh, it's good. It's good that he wants to play for a win. But I'm somehow gonna try to swindle him here. Uh, let's go, King here. He has rookie four. Okay, good job. Good job. Let's play check. Um, let's go here. Okay, c5. Now the rook is kind of tied here. Can I play g5? Maybe I'm going to have to go g5 and take some risks. Yeah, let's take some risks. I have no choice. I have no choice to take some risk here. I'm up on time and I need to flag him if things don't go well. Okay, let's go here. F4, I can just take. Um, can I play? Yeah, because I have the outside pass pawn. I got the outside passer. Very important in the King Endgames. Hello, Mr. Henry. Yes, I, I definitely recognize you, Henry. Definitely recognize you. Let's create an outside, uh, outside pass pawn. And let's show my campers how to dirty flag someone in a completely equal endgame. Henry, of course you can challenge me. Of course. Uh, can I go here? Rook here? No, let's just go behind. Let's keep rooks here. Uh, now, uh, how do I handle this? Let's go here. Oh, he has rook c4. Okay. Not my best effort here. Rook d3, going to cut out the king. Try to get the b3 pawn. Uh, that's a rook, buddy. That's a full rook. Okay, Mr. Ikeroff, GG. GG. All right, we got some campers who want to challenge. Uh, Henry, just hover uh, over my name. Uh, look at my name here, the magnet on chess 24. Hover over it and challenge me to a 3-0 game. Uh, so, yeah, just send the challenges. Oh, my God, challenges are pouring. It's really tough. It's really tough. All right. We got someone from Brazil challenging and a few students. So who am I going to choose? Well, <laughs> I've never played the Brazilian. 
All right. I'm going to try my best to wish him good luck. Boas sorte, if that was precise. Uh, mit suplik. Hopefully, I pronounced this correctly. And uh, all the people from Portugal will cringe to me pronouncing the words good luck in such a terrible way. But hey, I've learned Portuguese in Brazil, so you guys give me a break. Okay, let's go here. And then we're going to play F3. I'm going to plan, play the plan with F3 and E4 here. So I just got to be careful, though. If I play 92 too soon, he has... Oh, this is a really bad move. Now, yeah, he has to sack a piece. If he doesn't sack a piece, well, this is just a free pawn. And uh, I, don't, I don't think he gets any kind of compensation here. Um, I'm, I'm just going to play uh, knight g e2 and castle king side or even queen side. I don't know yet. I don't know yet. Oh, he, he's coming here, right? Okay, let's not welcome him. Let's... Uh... Well, okay, if you want to trade queens, uh, it's really not an issue if you want to trade queens. You, you're really just making my life completely simple here. I'm going to let him take me, uh, just a3. If he wants to take, no problem. Okay, all right, let's, uh, let's trade more pieces. Let's trade more pieces. Knight g3 or knight f4. I feel that knight g3 is better. Because on f5, the knight is protecting e3 as well as uh, creating some threats. But I don't want to do it right away. Uh, I want to prepare with like h4, h5 first. And uh, I'm going to try to uh, show my students that uh, I have some positional understanding. Hopefully. Hopefully. Because uh, people here roast me all the time for having absolutely zero positional understanding. Um, let's go king d2. If he takes, I take and I trade all the rooks. Otherwise, I'm playing knight f5 next move. All right, let's trade everything. Okay, now we have a knight endgame. And this is not too good for him because knights are very easy to trade in those endgames. So I'm going to approach my king, eventually play knight f5. I don't want to play it right away because he goes knight king f7. I'm going to let him blunder and maybe go to this side. Oh, actually, no, this is pretty good. He has to play knight e8 because king f7 runs into knight d6. So, okay, yeah, he blunders, so that's good. And now I'm up two pawns, and this should be really an easy conversion. Uh, let's play check. Let's go a4. And let's try to get my knight from c3 to f5. And we're going to hunt him again. Uh, yeah, let's take this guy. And now let's go to e3. And f5. This is a positional chess, guys. Hopefully, you can enjoy this show. Uh, b4, a5, or knight f5. Knight f5, knight d6, knight b7, just to get that pawn. Yeah, let's uh, trade pawns and go knight b7. Let's not allow him to collect anything. Let's just be greedy over here. The power is mine. Saying also your French is quite good. Well, saying my French is quite good is almost insulting power is mine because French is my first language. So when it's someone's first language, you need to compliment it way more than saying it's quite good. You have to say like it's perfect. <laughs> uh, let's go knight here and just uh, a6, a7. This is a very clean win. A very clean win, guys. Can I go here? Knight c6? Whoa, okay. All right. So let's uh, let's do some pre-moves over here. Let's collect and let's win. GG, Mr. Mitsuplik. GG. Oh my god. Okay, I got I, I got a... I got a young kid coming at me, a young teenager coming at me, and we're not talking about the students from the from the future master camp. We are talking about Mr. Vincent. But before, I'm going to give a game to my student. And guys, if there's one game I can't lose, it is this one right here, because I have to teach him tomorrow, Thursday, and Friday for an hour. And if I lose to this guy, he's definitely going to roast me on a Zoom call the whole time. The whole time. I can't lose to him, guys. Like, if I lose to him, it's going to hurt. 
a lot of pressure here. It's teacher versus student, and teacher has everything to lose. Obrigado. Yes, Mitsuklik. Yes. Um, wait, what? Is this a free pawn? That's a free pawn, right? I'm not. I'm not dreaming or anything, right? I can just take this, and I just want a free pawn. Okay, good. Good, good, good. Maybe my student was nervous playing me. But this is awesome. Um, I could even play queen e5 check, forcing a queen trade, because I'm so boring, right? He has to play queen. OK, now I take this guy. And um, he's really close to lost. But how do I play this? I'm just going to castle and get my king to safety just to avoid any kind of nonsense and i'm gonna play d5 and i don't think my uh my queen is getting trapped here so henry definitely we're gonna have to work on the uh hyper accelerated dragon tomorrow maybe you were a little confused which is understandable uh let's go e5 just you know take the whole center and I might play bishop e6 next move. Oh, he goes here. Let's trade queens. And uh, what do I want to do here? Do I want to play bishop e6? Takes, takes, rook d8, rook d1, bishop h6, rook d3. This is not clear. Let's just go here and c5. Okay, c5. That's that's a that's a good move. That's a good move. I I have to respect that move from my student. Um, okay, let's go bishop e6. I know that it's not optimal to double your pawns like this, but uh, when you are up, when you're up this much material, a lot of things you do don't matter. Uh, e4, rook e2, e3. Oh, he has rook e1. Why am I a patser? Why am I a patser? Oh no, I have. Wait a sec. Do I have this? Yeah, e3 takes takes rook e2. I'm still losing a pawn. Okay, but this is very fortunate because I think I have that. Okay, but now his position is slowly crumbling here, right? Right here, bishop f8, rook b2. Oh, I like it. I like it. He's uh, he's going for dirt. Oh, or he's going for simple tactics that I can't see. Okay. Uh, okay, let's go here. He's going for very simple tactics. But why didn't he take c6? I think he should have taken c6. Now I'm up like a million pawns. Uh, here, can I take that? Takes rook c8. Should be game over. Uh, let's go rook f7. Takes again rook c8, game over. And bishop a3. Did I really miss bishop a3? Am I dead by that chess? When did I miss bishop a3, guys? When did I miss bishop a3? Why are you saying bishop a3? You guys are trolling. You guys just want me to look at the past moves and you guys are completely trolling. Do I go for the sexy variation here? Or do I go for the boring rook, rook c7? San405 says, why don't you accept me? Do you have fear? Yes. I have fear playing annoying people, Mr. San. This is my biggest fear, to play someone who is unpleasant like you. So, yes, I'm very, very, very scared. You have no idea how much I'm scared right now. Uh, let's go here. And uh, he offers a draw. Typical. Very typical. <laughs> Magnus is trash. <laughs> Loves it when I roast people in the chat. Yes, Henry, GG, and see you tomorrow. See you in tomorrow's class. Whoa, Peter G in the Charlotte Chess Center, rating with a party of 346. Thank you so much. I assume it's you, Mr. Peter G. You are the best. I, I was actually playing uh, one of the students from the Future Master Camp. I uh, recruited some of them to uh, tune in on my banter blitz. We are having a lot of fun. So, guys... Make sure to follow Charlotte Chess Center. They have an amazing channel. I think Daniel was playing a match today. I wasn't able to follow because uh, I was teaching. 
but uh, good to see you, Mr. Peter G. And thanks so much for us for the raid. Welcome, everyone. Welcome to my show. I am Fidi Master Lofang Hua, and I am doing a banter blitz here on Chess24, playing viewers. I was actually playing some students from the from the camp, and I'm really having a good time. But you know what? Now I'm, I'm going to become a student. Uh, I'm going to challenge my teacher here, Mr. Vincent, all the way from Germany, 15-year-old teenager. Don't get, don't be fooled by his rating. He is a hundred times better than me. So Vincent, good luck to you. Oh my gosh. I am scared. I'm scared guys. I am definitely scared. Okay. So we're going to play this line, which we played a couple of times and he is going to farm me in this end game. Oh my gosh. Life is really tough. And he's playing so fast. Oh, man. Vincent. Vincent, Vincent. Lafong him. <laughs> Hello from Spain. Yes. Crumby Cheesecake, what's up? Hello, everyone. Hello, everyone. Thanks for tuning in. I really do appreciate it. Can he really take here? I'm, I'm going rookie eight, and I think I'm getting E2 back. Or at least I got a bishop pair. Um, Mr. Vincent, what are you doing? Am I going to be okay? Takes, takes 94. I take here, take bishop e2. It's about equal. And uh, the best advice I can give you guys is that if you are playing something equal, just uh, play fast because it's all about time. Oh, I don't like this move. I like bishop f3 here. Buddy, buddy Vincent. Yeah, don't... Uh, if you let my bishop get comfortable... You will uh, regret it, Mr. Vincent. Don't let my bishop be too comfortable here. This is my piece of advice. All right, he goes here. Let's let's go back. Let's go here. I have an isolated pawn, but I think uh, I will get enough uh, counterplay. So I guess rook b8 makes sense. And then either here or rook d8. No, rook d8, rook d4 is a little bit unpleasant. Uh, okay, how do I deal with this? Okay, rookie five. If he takes, I'm going to take with the pawn. Okay, no, 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 no. No, I'm not going to let you bully me like this. And then I want to play rook b8 here. And the most important thing, guys, is that I'm up on time. Because if there's a time scramble, I'm going to flag him. Uh, let's take like this. Oh, he wants to go like this and rook a5. Oh, man, Vincent, are you going to torture me like this? Seriously? You're going to seriously torture me like this. Um, all right, let's go here. Oh, this is real torture, guys. Oh, man, he's really going to torture me like this, huh? This is not cool, Vincent. Can I go rookie four? Rookie four uh, takes, I'm going to take back. And then I'm going to try to somehow get the rug behind the pawns. And I'm really, really, really down on time here. Uh, takes, uh, take and take. Vincent, Vincent, I want you to behave. Mr. Vincent, we're having a friendly game here. And I'm warning you, if you try to flag me, you're going to get flagged. I'm just, I'm warning you here. This is a very, very, very polite warning. Don't try to flag me. Okay, let's go here. Okay, let's take. I'm going to go king g6 next. Okay. Vincent, I'm telling you guys. I'm telling you, Vincent, like, if you try to flag me, it's really going to backfire. Um, wait a sec. What's going on here? King here, king here, rook e3. Am I okay here? Ah, f4. I'm such a patser. 
oh my god i'm such a patser am i gonna lose this game like it was literally impossible to lose it was really 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 impossible to lose how how do i manage to lose this game no this is really sick guys like i'm really not happy about my performance so far oh this is bad guys this is pretty bad He's going to flag me. Let's go here. Um, oh, man. Are you seriously going to flag me? Dude. Don't flag me. Okay. Okay. All right. We held a draw. We held a draw. That's good. That's good. That's good. All right. Let's drink some more coffee. That was really sloppy, guys. That was really sloppy. I'm not going to lie to you. I am not proud of myself uh, because it should have been way easier than that. But I'm not going to complain. I still made a draw versus a decent player, you know. Not going to complain. Oh, okay. He's annoying with this one, with this line. Uh, okay, let's go bishop d3 and b3 or something. Okay, b3. I'm improving last last time's uh, variation because he played knight e4. So now I'm just going to go here. And uh, can I play e4? e4 takes, 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 and c5 could be annoying. So let's go queen c2. And rook d1. And rook e1 or something. Let's play it slow. Let's chill here. We're not in a hurry. Flag like Lufang. <laughs> I wish I wish I could flag him, but uh, he's too good. He is too good. Okay, let's go here. I want to play e4 next move. All right, let's go e4. Takes, 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 takes. And then if he plays knight f6, I'm considering considering knight e5 or i can just pull back and c5 i got d5 whoa 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 whoa, vincent buddy vincent you're playing a little fast buddy i understand i'm a patser to you but you should slow down a little bit show some respect show some respect okay bishop e5 or oh d6 is d6 a gm level move wait a sec let me think guys Takes, 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 and I win a pawn. Does he have comp? Is he bluffing? Buddy, are you are you bluffing me? Wait, bishop here, queen back, d6. Or d6, queen back. I don't believe it. Really? Can I play e7 for check? Vincent, show me the money. If I take and play bishop e4 and bishop d5, isn't this like pretty good for me? Or just bishop e4 next? I'm up a pawn. I'm up a pawn. Okay, he goes here. Now I could take him. No, takes, he's gonna take with a queen. Um, bishop here, knight takes, takes, takes. Is this enough? Uh, wait a sec. I need to focus here really need to focus okay let's go here if he takes i take knight takes okay but now am i not like am i not like doing really great here Queen g5, queen g4, or even king h1. Um, what's, what's happening here? What's going on here? Queen here. Queen f4. Queen king g2. Okay. Oh, rook f5. But rook f5, queen d8. It's not that clear. Um, okay, here, H, he's a little annoying. 
I'm not gonna lie, this is a little annoying. Okay, rook here, threatening g6. And then maybe the queen d6 trying to trade queens. Queen, G, queen d6, queen uh, g5, queen g3. I'm really nervous here, really nervous. This position is really messy. I feel that I'm doing great, but I'm only up a pawn, opposite color bishop, and uh, yeah, I'm not too sure. I have 50 seconds each. Rook here. Okay, let's take. Um, else it's a draw, right? Check. 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 Okay. Okay, well, this is a draw. Yeah. Let's offer him a draw. Okay, two draws, guys. Two draws, not bad, not bad. We have to break the tie. We have to break the tie. Okay, Vincent, good luck for the last game. Okay. You are getting a Benoni, Mr. Vincent. You are getting a bit only. All right, a6. Man, two draws against a GM. This is not too bad. Let's go here. Let's go here. Let's go here. Okay. We have played this last time, I think. We have played this. Hopefully you guys are enjoying the show. I'm definitely enjoying my games against Vincent. And it is a competitive match. Uh, okay, he decides to go knight here. So can I take and go here and go here? He has to move the, the knight away at some point. And I'm going to play b5. So obviously he doesn't want to draw here because he's a young prodigy and I'm just an old FM. So he might play um, knight takes or, okay, he plays bishop takes. I'm going to go here. I want to go bishop here and bishop b5. Okay, let's go bishop here. He might try to play f4, e4, but I'm going to try to trade this. Um, okay, let's pull back. So he can't trade, and I'm going to play bishop b5 next. I believe I'm doing okay here. Still up on time. Let's go here. Uh, let's take this guy and something like queen here. Rook here and maybe f5. Queen h4. Uh, bishop d4 or f5. Bishop here takes, takes queen b3. I think I can hold this. I think I can hold this. Here he's going to play g3. Um, okay, how do I hold the balance here? I'm getting pushed around a little bit. Yeah, that's quite annoying. Okay, let's go here. I'm going to have to accept having a slightly worse position here. Hmm. Okay, let's go here. Can he play e5? Oh, shoot. Shoot, he can, huh? Okay, this is not too good. This is not too good. My position is kind of crumbling, crumbling here. I have to uh, do something very precise. Okay, queen b5. And uh, I got to... You gotta hope for something. Maybe rook d7 next. Not too sure what's going on here. But, uh, man. <sighs> this is the Benoni, guys. This is the Benoni. Takes, 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 takes. Doesn't work. 
Oh shoot, he has e6. Oh, e6 is unpleasant. e6? Yeah. Am I lost? I'm close to lost here. Rook takes, 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 I can't play here. Oh, rook e7. Oh, but queen c6, queen c6. How am I surviving this? It's still even material. I have bishop b2 as well in some lines, if he doesn't see it. Um, let's go here. Okay, let's go here. So he can't. I'm gonna have to flag him. I'm gonna have to flag him somehow. Check, check, check. He's too good. He is too good. Check. Oh, shoot. Okay, Vincent. Okay. Too good. Too good for me. That was good. Congrats, Mr. Vincent. You win today's match. All right. 2-1 for Vincent. Ah. I feel I was doing okay, but uh, no, that was tough. That was tough. He really played well. He really played well. And uh, you know what? You know what? It is an honor to play him. And uh, thanks for tuning in, Vincent. I really appreciate it. And uh, you are only making me better every time. You're only making me better every time. So GG to you, Vincent. I'm going to now take a challenge from uh, a much lower rated player because I have some breaking news for you guys. Because I just played a Benoni. So I have some breaking news, guys. Um, yesterday, I um, went to visit two homes with cats. And I have the pleasure to let you know, guys, that after the stream today, I am going to go make a deposit because I'm getting Benoni. I am going to get Benoni, guys. I'm getting a cat. So hopefully you guys are uh, happy about it. I don't want to reveal too much about uh, Benoni, but uh, yeah, I'm going to have a cat. And uh, it's going to be uh, delivered around, not delivered, but ready to be picked up a little bit after July 17th. And for those who wonder, it is going to be a Scottish straight. So it's basically a Scottish fold uh, without the folded ears, which could cause some uh, disease later on in his life. So that's why I decided to go with um, the Scottish straight. And um, yeah, so the Scottish straight is a version of Scottish fold, except they don't have ears that fold in front. It is uh, gray and white. And this is how much I can tell you about the, the, the cat. Oh, it's a female. She's about, uh, she was born May 21st. So she's about eight weeks old or not even. Yes. And uh, her name is Benoni. It's been decided for years that my cat's name would be Benoni, but uh, I'm really excited. So right after the stream, I'm going to make a deposit and uh, it's, it's going to be confirmed. Yes, Kili Manjaro. That's why I knew you would be happy. Yes. Yes, my cat is going to 
B. Benoni. In honor of my favorite chess opening. Yeah. Okay, let's play Rook H8. Yes, Peteros. But I just love cats. I fell in love with, with, uh, with Benoni as soon as I saw her for the first time yesterday. Yes. Do you guys know any cats who are named Benoni? I'm just wondering. Because I think it's a very original name and I like it personally. Okay, let's go here. I'm trying to uh, put some pressure on my opponent here. I'm going to try to play G5, G4. Thank you, Zia. Thank you. Yeah, thank you, uh, Scarface. I agree. I, I like the I sound uh, at the end of the Benoni. I think you can pronounce Benoni really easily. And also, I come from Montreal, and it is a city where you, you, you can speak many languages. We have some people who uh, only speak French. We have some people who only speak English. Um, and Benoni is really universal. Like It's not a hard word to pronounce no matter where you come from. And uh, it's really easy to say. It's a cute name. And yeah. Benoni is more of a male cat name. Why do you say this, Iron Man? Why, why, why is... Uh... Why is Benoni more of a male name? I haven't addressed her yet, so I can still change her name. But unless you really have a good reason, um, I don't think I'm going to change the name. Oh, because it's Son of Sorrow. Well, <laughs> most of the people don't really play chess, so... I mean, there's always going to be something, right? Oh, you could say Benoni is a black opening. Why do you name a gray cat Benoni? But it's not about what it means. It's more like it sounds nice. It's related to chess and chess and cats go well together. So that's it. Uh, Magnus is trash. GG. Let's uh, get Stegema a game. Yeah. Yeah. Who cares? Says Kirin Manjiro. Exactly. I don't think Kitty Benoni will mind. Yes. Peteros, we, we will see. Um, we will see how she reacts. But when I was looking uh, into cats, I uh, first stumbled upon um, the British short hair, which was the cat of choice. I like how they look physically. But uh, after reading a little bit about them, I discovered that they're very independent. And although they show a lot of affection, uh, they don't like to be picked up or, or cuddled. And that, that is a deal breaker with me. If you're going to have a relationship with me, it is very important that we cuddle. And uh, although you could show your love in many ways, if you don't cuddle me, uh, this is not acceptable. So then I started to look for cats who look like British short hair. And uh, I stumbled upon the Scottish Fold. And their personality is uh, very loyal, very joyful. And on top of that, they're more dependent. Don't get me wrong. A dog will always be more dependent than a cat. But the fact that I read that they're dependent and that they're looking forward to you coming back and that they show their love by cuddling and by being on your lap, I thought about you guys, right? Like, what am I going to do with a cat that's not going to come see me during my bento blitz? So I decided to opt for the Scottish Fold. But then I read a little bit about it. And the problem, the main problem was that... Um, the main problem was that the ears, the folded ears can cause some disease. And it is so, so bad that I think in some countries including Canada, actually, they, uh, they ban or they forbid uh, the breed of two Scottish... Oh my God, am I getting made it? They forbid the bread of two pure Scottish folds together. And for that reason, I'm going to lose this game, guys. Dude, I'm going to lose this game. Check, check. Guys, I can't talk about cats. He's going to play Queen A1. Dude, 
Okay, I'm really pissed right now. Oh my god, I'm gonna lose all my reading. I don't even have Benoni with me and I'm losing. Imagine when Benoni sits on my lap. Oh my goodness. Don't do this to me. Oh my goodness. Guys, I didn't make the deposit yet. I can still not get a cat, guys. What do you think? Do I deserve a cat right now with the way I'm playing? Do I deserve to get Benoni? What is it going to be when What is it going to be when I I really have Benoni on my lap? Like how can I even play chess? I, I can't even dirty him. Like th there's nothing I can do. Like the king is so safe right now. So salty. So salty. How I can't there's nothing you can do. Oh man. Can I get a stalemate? I, I don't even know how to get counterplay here, guys. I can't get counterplay. Queen d5. Okay, he's really he's really asking for it though. Um okay, check. Like is there even a way he's going to sack his queen? Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Please tell me. This is really disturbing. Yeah, there are many ways that he could have finished the game. If you guys can't tell, I'm pretty salty right now. Because I can't even talk about cats and win. GG, Mr. Stejama. Oh, man, this hurts. It's been a while since I lost. Oh, congrats, buddy. Oh, that was a really good game. I mean, he was completely losing. And then uh, I got comfortable, talked about Benoni, and boom. What happened here? Oh, yeah, I blundered. I blundered here. Yeah, uh, I didn't see Rook C8. That was very impressive. Very impressive. Um, yeah. Nothing to say. No excuses. I uh, I lost fair and square. M maybe here I had to go here, but I didn't want it to allow <coughs> knight g5. But I think here, this is pretty much game over, right? I don't know how I can save it. Uh, maybe. Oh, maybe rook b1 check first. Wait, actually? Are you kidding me? Dude, I was completely winning. Oh my goodness. Guys. I was completely winning. <laughs> I didn't even see this. I, I was too focused. I, I was too focused on this. Guys, I missed a maiden like four or something. This is very embarrassing. But uh, good game, Mr. Uh, Stegema. Good game. All right. Now I'm going to have to, uh, I'm going to have to, uh, again, drop in rating and challenge someone I can beat. Because apparently Stegema is too strong for me. Okay, let's go. Let's go, Tansu. All right, so let's uh, talk about cats again and see if I can talk about cats and win against a 1600. Because clearly I couldn't do it against a 1900. So let's see. So as I was saying, <laughs> I was going for a Scottish fold, uh, but uh, I eventually uh, chose to not to. And then I stumbled upon a Scottish straight, which is basically a Scottish fold, which has straight ears and which comes from a mix of a parent Scottish fold and Scottish straight mixed together. 
but in my case, it's two Scottish traits. So I'm getting exactly the same personality as a Scottish fold, um, except physically, my cat will be healthy. So yeah, enough talking about cats. I just wanted to finish, uh, finish the conversation here. All right, let's play chess now. Let's play chess and uh, let's try to uh, to show that uh, I can still win some uh, some games here, um, despite my very poor play today. So let's go. Uh, knight here. Can I play here and here? Okay, let's go here first. Ninety five. I want to play uh, c five and knight f three. That's the ultimate goal. Can I go here? I think I win a queen here. I think I win a queen. No, but congrats, uh, Stay Gemma. Like I I'm really proud of you. I'm really happy for you. And uh, hey, it's good practice. I have to. Uh, if if I can't handle you talking about cats, I can't handle you when there's gonna be a cute cat sitting on my lap. So it is good practice. Uh, is my knight trapped? Maybe. Maybe it is. Maybe it's not. Okay, let's get castle. Thank you so much. I really appreciate it. Uh, honestly, like all jokes aside, um, like, of course, no competitive player is happy about losing a game. But I mean, I'm okay like three seconds after losing, you know. GG Tansu. Um, but no, I'm really happy uh, that you guys are having fun, challenging me, and uh, occasionally beating me. I understand the feeling. So, um, really glad to play against you guys. All right, let's see who else is challenging. Okay, let's go up a little bit in rating, but not too much. Um, Let's give Mr. Dangerous Ride a game. It's been a while. Okay, we, we have only played three times. All right. SB Lerps, good to see you. Good to see you. Oh, some people are approving the name. Okay, good. Good. Good to hear that, guys. Hello, Kemal Piri. What's up? Thank you so much for tuning in. I really do appreciate your presence and the presence of everyone today. Based on the number of challenges I'm having, I guess uh, we are having a lot of viewers right now. And uh, we're talking about cats today, for those who just joined. I am uh, officially going to get a cat after the banter. I am going to make a deposit. Uh, dangerous ride? Whenever you want. Whenever you want. Uh, just, just Alizera fanboy, who are you on chess 24? Let me know your username. I'm going to have to cancel this game. I'm sorry. Dangerous ride. Who are you? Uh, Alizera fanboy. I'm going to give Kemal Piri a game. It's a loyal Instagram fan. So let's go. What's up? Susik. What's up? Good to see you in the chat. Does tiger count as a cat? Maybe. Why not calling your cat Stevens? Huh. Good one, Prom Knight. But it's been decided years ago. Benoni is really something personal. And it is my favorite opening in chess. Like, I, I really love the Benoni. So it's not even hard to decide to name my cat Benoni. Uh, okay, this is kind of strange, the whole knight maneuver. So I'm just going to go here. What's up, Dark Vader? What's up, Nikolai Pavlov? Good to see you all. Thanks for tuning in. Appreciate it. Uh, this is a really strange move. I'm going to go queen a5. You wouldn't call it dog Benoni. Uh, okay, let's go rook. I don't know why I played rook fc8, though. Uh, okay, rook b8. I'm going to try to play a6, b5. Lufang, why do you accept Kemal Piri? Um, well, Kemal Piri, you know, we have a good relationship. Uh, you know, he follows me on Instagram. He messages me. 
he's always uh, saying some nice things. And I like his vibe. I like his vibe. He's sending some DMs. He's saying thank you for the show. He's being polite. You know, we are interacting. And uh, I like polite people. Okay, and IG4. Um, guys, you can give you can ask me for reasons why I accept certain people, but don't start like asking me why I don't accept you. This is uh there's not necessarily a reason. You can be you can be on my blacklist, but um 99 of the people are not so can i can i take here and play like queen b6 i should play d5 maybe uh e5 bishop e6 h5 bishop g4 that's a cheapo but he might fall for it let's go here let's go here i don't mind trading queens i'm just gonna push b5 uh, that's a whole bishop, right? Yeah, unfortunately. Let's go back here and play b5. Take here. b5. Take. Check. Check. Take. Pawn is falling. Uh, okay, is there a quick mate? Yeah, probably just f5 and rook e2 should do the job. Oh, I didn't see my rook hanging. It's a good thing it's defended. It's a good thing that it's defended. Okay, I'm going to set up a mating net here with uh, g5 and rook e2. Okay, rook e2. Uh, and then that's mate. Kemal Piri, GG. Uh, okay, we got uh, Ali Zera who wants to play. Uh, oh, but you're challenging five minutes, buddy. So I'm really sorry. Uh, I prefer three minutes. So next time, change your challenge to three minutes. Oh, the difference. The difference was challenging earlier. Let's go. Let's go. Another Benoni today? No. Okay, let's go here. Knight c6. I'm probably going to take an e5 if he allows me. At least, I mean, queen b6 looks really strong too, right? Bishop e3, knight g4. And he might have, uh, he might have some issues. Let's take here. I don't believe that he has anything. I can take here, take here, knight g4. Yeah, knight g4. And then should be able to get the dark square bishop, which is pretty good. Hopefully my queen doesn't get trapped. Rook b3, queen a5. Um, dangerous right, just... Uh, Send the challenge again. I'll see what I can do. Send the challenge again. Okay, I'm going to take it. Whoa, that's a weird pre-move. Mr. Difference. All right. Is, uh, are we going to give a second chance to uh, to Mr. Dangerous Ride? There you go. All right, good luck to you. All right, let's give him another Benoni. Okay, let's go d5. Yeah, mouse slip. I figured the difference, but thanks for playing. Okay, so he's giving an isolated pawn, uh, which is pretty good for me. I want to take here and take here, but this pawn is always hanging in every variation. So I'm going to play b6. Now, can I play this? Takes, 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 takes. I think it works. Rook takes, I take the bishop. If he takes, I take with the queen. Yeah, now I take here and I take here. So this is a clean pawn. And uh, the only thing I want to avoid, though, is uh, his rook coming here. So bishop f4. Although I got bishop b2 in a lot of variations.
when did you start playing chess? When I was a kid, uh, Tired Leaf. When I was a kid, uh, I was maybe uh, six or seven years old. So that was a very long time ago. Vertwitch, thanks for tuning in. Appreciate it. Thank you. So I'm threatening to take on B2. Oh, he's playing here. So can I convert this? Check, check, check. So I got a choice here. Takes, takes, check here, check, queen f4. Yeah, that should be clean. Check. Check. Takes and green here. That should be pretty clean. Then I go rook c2. He can't prevent rook c2. Maybe he can go like rook a4. But uh, should be should be okay. Prom night. Thank you for taking care of. Uh, of this chat today. Umut uh, really being annoying here. Crying and saying, hi, where is the fair? Where is the fair? That's a very interesting sentence right there. Where is the fair? Okay, let's go rook c4 and push my pawns, e5. And uh, king e6, f5. Okay, and then we're going to create a pass pawn. That should be a, a very easy conversion. At Lafong, we would appreciate seeing a match against Prom Knight. Yeah, but um, I understand. I understand your concern, guys. But uh, I'll do my best. Like, literally, I have like a million challenges right now. Okay, let's go back here and King D5 and, and push E4 or something. I think this should be enough. When will you start playing bullet? Well, I was thinking about doing it next game, but I'm going to make everyone cry if I do, right? Man, too many people challenging. Too many people challenging. So again, I'm really sorry if I haven't accepted your challenge today. Guys, I'm doing three banters per, per week, and um, I'm really doing my best here. Check. Let's come back. Now he's going to have some problems with this pawn. So for an example, okay, he goes king e3. Uh, now let's... He's going to play rook c2. Oh, but rook c2, I go king b5. Okay, that's good. I'm just going to push my pawns to a4 and b5. Yeah, now I, now I come in. I'm coming. I'm coming in. Uh, let's go here. Let's go here. Let's push. Okay, he's going to go back here. I go here and I go here and I go here. And this is completely winning. GG, Mr. Dangerous Ride. Guys, I think uh, we're going to move to the bullet portion. I'm really sorry. Ali, uh, Ali Reza, uh, I know you already changed your challenge from 5 to 3, but now change it from 3 to 1, if you don't mind. Um, yeah. All right, let's go to full screen. All right, guys, we are in the last portion of the stream. It's been fun today. And uh, don't forget, guys, I think the promo code study chess is over, but we always have this 15% with Bishop H6 become premium and challenge me. Don't forget to follow my Instagram where in the bio, you always have the link to the next stream. So full schedule in the bio, as well as a lot of content. And you can make sure that when Benoni comes home, there might be a picture or two of Benoni. So follow my Instagram and give me some love guys. And uh, we are going to start the bullet portion. Don't worry about it, Prom Knight. Uh, I'm going to talk to some people. Maybe we can have some uh, some mods and remove annoying people like Umut Pasha. Uh, don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. Let, let the kids like him just cry. And it's fine. It's fine. 
don't worry about it prom night it's okay i mean uh, you just have to let it go and ignore ignore the little babies it's fine all right prom night let's do it let's do it good luck to you we haven't played blitz so okay so he's playing a pure benoni oh he's doing it this way he surprised me he caught me in a primo or something okay oh that's a full rook no queen f6 let's go here knight e5 b5 oh i didn't see this move though f4 shoot uh okay d5 and d4 i'm not playing super well today as you can tell but neither is he so that's very fortunate for me uh queen e2 trying to get this yeah let's take this guy queen c2 and i'm just going to promote my pawn uh, let's go here let's go here let's go here that should be gg very soon All right, prom night, GG, thanks for playing. Okay, let's get another bullet game going. Uh, okay, who is, I, I need to accept this guy though. I need to, oh, 2400. All right, let's give him a couple games. So this is Ali Reza, right? This is gonna be good. All right. All right, Mr. Ali Reza, good luck. He's from Twitch. Let's give him some love, guys. First time playing me. And it is in a bullet game. So let's see what he's got. Good luck to you, sir. Okay. I'm going to play C4 probably. Okay. Reverse Benoni. Yeah, we got a reverse Benoni. That's great. Takes. Rookie 1. Bishop G5. We're going to play uh, takes and A3. Okay, knight here, knight here, c5. I don't know if what I did is good, but it's a bullet, and we don't have to, we don't have time to regret our decisions in bullet. Um, okay, this is kind of annoying, right? Let's go here, let's take. Rook here, I'm threatening this. Uh, he is pretty good. He is pretty good. Uh, let's go h4, h5. Oh, I'm hanging this. Hanging this, not a good idea. Oh, I was going to hang this, check. Uh, let's go here. Let's take this guy. Oh shoot, am I am I lost here? Am I lost? Oh my goodness. Oh my god, queen. <sighs> GG. Okay, let's rematch. I'm tilted. I am tilted. But good job, buddy. Good job. I uh unfortunately played like a patser this game uh i never declined a challenge i never declined a challenge guys but i see uma challenging so i just want to know i just want to let uma know that i'm declining the challenge in front of everyone so uma i just declined your challenge because you are so annoying okay the king zero three let's go no that was not my best bullet game it's all good guys it's all good it is all for fun um let's give the king oh three a bullet game and let's do it. Do you have knight f7 on king h8? I don't know, Ilya. I don't know. Okay. Let's go here. Oh, my God. Is he, is he just coming to mate me or something? Actually, can I play check? Maybe not. But this is strong enough, I think. 93, I'm going to win in exchange. 
and I'm good with that. Oh my God, he's coming to meet me. He's really coming here to meet me. Not gonna let him though. Let's go here, rook c8. And I'm gonna play, uh, let's play takes first. Check. Buddy, seriously? Seriously, buddy. Take here. Take here. Um, where's the mate? Why do I not see basic mates? All right, GG, Mr. King03. Uh, let's see who else wants to play. Uh, oh, Sirius Lama. Sirius Lama. All right, let's do it. Oh, yeah, true. We drew once, huh? Mr. Sirius Lama. Okay, let's play. Okay, so we got a isolated, iso oh my god. While explaining the concept of an isolated pawn, I don't see a bishop hanging and neither does he. So now it's all good. We're up a piece. We are doing fantastic. Let's play check. Let's take this guy. Let's get rid of the queens and let's fork him if he doesn't see it. That's um, amazing. Bishop f6. Uh, let's go here. Okay. Um, let's go here. Let's take this guy. Okay. Rook is in trouble. Let's go here. And now we're getting the knight. Uh, okay. It doesn't really matter at this point. I'm going to play rook d3. Rook c2 and rook d1, which is the staircase mate. GG, Mr. Serious Lama. We still have time maybe for one or two games. Uh, we got Mr. ACZ, who I haven't had a chance to play um, in the blitz portion. So let's go. Good luck to you. Please. No, Lafong didn't work. All right, let's beat him down a piece. It's all good. I've been there before. I've been there before. I have failed to Lafong people before. Now we're going to have to work. Let's get to work. Um, okay, let's go here. Takes, takes. H5. Okay, let's not trade queens. We are still trying to complicate things here. E4. Let's go here. Um, E3. Takes. Let's take like this. It's very unfortunate because I almost won his. Uh, I almost won his queen but it wasn't trapped let's play check let's go here let's go here is it enough here oh that's a lot of material i'm slowly catching up um okay let's go here am i okay here or am I getting uh Okay, let's go here. Check. Okay. We are going to survive this, guys. GG Mr. ACZ. Oh my god, that was really tough. That was really tough. Guys, we had a lot of fun today. I uh, unfortunately lost to Stay Gemma, and I lost a bullet game to Ellie Reza, not the real one, but the one on Twitch, who is definitely a very strong player. Thank you so much for watching. I am going right away 
to make a deposit and uh, secure seal the deal on Benoni. I'm getting a cat, guys. It's official uh, after this uh, this stream. I'm gonna be back on Thursday at 3:30 p.m. Eastern time. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you very soon. Take care.